Hey guys! Hey! Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. Today <laughs> we are eating some Taco Bell. As you can see here. Yes. So let's get it. We gotta do a thumbnail. Oh yeah, we gotta do <laughs> Last time we did not remember. <laughs> okay, just hold up your drink. Oh yeah. So you like put it in there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And hopefully I can I can figure out how to edit that. Right. Out. Because if that goes in there, they're gonna be like, you guys are real stupid. Okay. So first before I get eaten here, I wanna thank everyone for all the love and support yes. on our last video. Thank you so much. We, we were clueless. It. Yeah. Uh, it took me like several days to figure out how to do a thumbnail. Um, but we, Well she did that though. Yeah. She did a really good job. Mm -hmm. so. But no edits and we just we're still gonna do this raw. Yeah. Because sorry. Your girl does not have time to figure out how to edit. But we'll just, figure out along along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, no big issue at all. Just yeah. it'll come. Yeah. Okay. For right now, hey, this is it is what it is. Yeah. But I'm gonna get this in because girl, I'm sorry. Oh my god. So I just got some basic tacos. Mm -hmm. Just they're supreme, but I don't eat sour cream. So mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no sour cream for all you sour cream lovers. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. And I have two chalupas, a taco, and nacho Oh, fries. yeah, I got nachos, too. Mm. And I got extra because it seems like I'd be scooping they like are, nacho cheese. They and are so selfish. skimpy. Why? Like, let me get that. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to put, you know, it's got to be covered. And you cover it. Look at that. You cover it. There's, like, half of it's gone already. Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah, those funny. of you, actually, today, I was, um going through facebook and i seen someone saying how it's 2020 like who who still likes taco bell and i was like uh me, <laughs> me? <laughs> i actually haven't been to taco bell in like forever i haven't been since last week <laughs> some people are like it's only good when you're drunk and i'm like <laughs> okay yeah right mm -hmm. i'm real hungry <laughs> This cheese is everything. <laughs> so, okay, question. What? I'm done. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't drink so much. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> We're having a crisis over here. <laughs> oh, God, okay. Um, I, I hate how my tacos are always, like, broken. I know. Mm. So, question. I, I know everybody's heard about... The coronavirus and it's affecting a lot of stuff including my trip that i'm trying to plan to go on a cruise cannot do it now at mm -hmm. all like but i'm still gonna plan a trip i mean how's everybody feel about it mm -hmm. is it making me nervous yeah i feel like i wash my hands so much now i put a lot of sanitizer on now i'm always telling my son like did you wash your hand did you it makes you like paranoid mm -hmm. it really does i mean <clears throat> a lot of people say well the the flu kills more people yeah, I don't know. but it's still like scary. It's like the unknown. Like yeah. it's so new and the fact that they have no cure. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. I'm thinking, okay, if they contain it in China, we good, you know. But mm -hmm. I feel like they brought people back, and then now all of a sudden, you got cases in Michigan, you got cases in New York, you got cases in California. Yeah. So it it definitely is. It is very scary. I heard somebody say the other day that it was people control. Population control. I'm sorry. I'm like, really? Would they do that? You, you could, never know. You just, you just there's so know. much stuff out there. Mm -hmm. You don't know what to believe, what not to believe. You read one article and you're like, okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And then you read another article and you're like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> right. Two different things. Yeah. So. I don't know. I, for myself, I go with God <laughs> mm -hmm. and I pray. Though, I feel like. He'll he'll protect me. He has this this long, so but I'm, so I got, I guess I'm not as as scared, but I do I do like wash my hands like constantly. I'm definitely noticing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost habit. Like I, I don't want to touch the doors. I'm like mm -hmm. my paper towel. <laughs> and at work, like I try. Well, really anywhere, I try to like take the paper towel that I wash open my hands the door. with and open the door. And, yeah. yeah. And I mean, let's be real. People are nasty. People don't like to wash their hands even with before Corona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they. Don't wash your hands and stuff. So it's like, you just got to be careful because people are, are trifling. Yeah. Mm. So are. speaking of trips. Yeah. Let's let's talk about it. Where are you planning on going? What do you want to do? So um, the plan, 
this year I'm trying to do two. Um, my son is turning 14, so I want to do like a vacation. He's never seen the ocean, never been on a flight. So I think it'd be nice to do that. I think we're gonna go to Myrtle Beach in, and it's not a huge, um, like the beaches aren't as perfect as like Florida or Bahamas, but for him to experience it for the first time, I think it'll be a good trip for us. Mm -hmm. um, he's getting older. I want to like make sure I take him and do stuff with him because when I was younger, you know, we really we didn't do the vacation thing. So yeah, I felt like I really want him to experience more than I had the opportunity to. You know, with being one kid, why not? You only have one. So yeah. Um, and then I'm going to Mexico in June. Yeah, girl. I can't wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Like, I'm going to Puerto Veritone. Ver Girl, I'm probably I'm tearing that name up. So, if you're watching right now and you know the real way to pronounce it, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment here. Right. So, yeah. And are you doing vacation? You said no this year, no? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is, like, <clears throat> unusual. So... My husband and I have been together for going on 12 years. Congrats. And thank you. Well, we still have till July. But, um, and I think we've gone on vacation together every year except maybe one year. But mm -hmm. last year, um, we found out that we were pregnant actually a year ago today. <laughs> I just posted about that. Oh, wow. So a year ago today, we found out we were pregnant. But three days prior, we signed on our house. So mm. yeah. last year... We did not do a vacation. That was the first time since probably like 2009 or 10. I don't know. But it's for many, many years. Um, for every year. We had at least done one, sometimes two vacations. Hmm. So because we found out we were pregnant, we bought the house. We decided to skip out on vacation. But my husband did a bachelor party last year. Um, and he went to Vegas for five days. So he still got a vacation, but I was yeah. fat and pregnant, <laughs> hot, sweaty, and pissed off that I didn't get a vacation. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, next year, you know, we'll, we'll go on vacation. But, mm. you know, you know how it is. Just trying to get caught up on bills from being yeah. out. I had a C-section, so we have bills for that. Yeah. Um, just having the baby is not cheap. And getting the house, and we had Girl. to do a couple things here. Yeah. So it's just being responsible and we're gonna skip out on this year and we're gonna go all out next year. So That's what's up. even though it sucks, I think it's the smartest thing to do. Yeah. So we might do something small. No. Him and I okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And I'm only able to do that with the new the new race. <laughs> yeah. This say everyone say congrats in the comments. <laughs> we're looking at our uh, my new supervisor. So yes. congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very well deserved. Brilliant. She's amazing. If you know her, she's amazing inside and outside of work. And I am thankful to have her as a boss. So yeah. it's like it's scary and exciting and overwhelming, like all all at the same time. It's definitely some a challenge mm -hmm. to um, you know, learn everything and have to change my mind frame, you know, like going from regular you know, position. Just worried about yourself to happen to yeah, worry about, about a whole, about a whole two team. teams. She yeah. has two teams under her now. So, so it's like, but I know that I'm smart. You know what I mean? Like, I know it's going to take time, but the more I do it, the more I learn everything, I think it'll flow pretty well. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Very, very much so. Yeah, that is exciting. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something about your, your uh, new boo. <laughs> 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 But, um, <laughs> oh god, because I know he's gonna watch this. Hey, Jay, I'll say Jay. <laughs> I still haven't met him yet, but soon. soon. Yeah, not yet. But he is meeting all of your closest friends this weekend. Yes, and that's big. It is big. It's yeah, a big deal. he's met your son, mm -hmm. so that's you got a good thing. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. See where it goes. It makes me happy. So, no, it is in the beginning stage. You gotta, you know, take your time. Be all excited, but take your time, mm -hmm. you know? So, we'll see where everything goes. But so far, good. No complaints. I hate that they're like, everything's coming out. Oh. And they are stingy with their freaking cheese. Yeah, they are. <laughs> like, I'm a big cheese person, so it's like, 
overload me. Mm -hmm. That's how I make them when I make them at home. It's so funny because my son won't eat cheese. Well, he swears that he won't eat cheese. He don't eat cheese. He don't eat pizza. Girl, he eat what? pizza, but you see how it looks. By I the thought time he said he didn't like pizza. He, he'll eat it, but he'll take everything off. Like mm. he literally will pick off what he likes, but pick it off the cheese and mm -hmm. then rip the cheese off and eat the bread. Who? Oh, why would you even want pizza? Like, yeah. That's the. It's odd. Yeah. So um. <clears throat> Comment below some video ideas. Yeah, you know we're running out of things to talk about. Well, yeah, we're we're obviously just like new at this, and like let's be real. Off camera, we are rude, crude, and <laughs> but on here it's kind of like you know you don't know what you can what to say, what not to say. Mm -hmm. mm. Nowadays everybody's so emotionally unstable. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Mm -hmm. You don't want to offend anybody. Yeah. Like, for the love of God, everybody has, you know, all these new movements. And so it's like you have to be careful. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You don't want to turn people off or whatever. We want more subscribers. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, we want more people to look. So, yeah, it would be awesome if you guys could comment below and say, hey, you know, this would be a good topic, you guys, you know, whatever. Anything. We got so much love and support, though. I mean, I had people at work stopping me, mm -hmm. like, oh, i seen your video. That was really cool. It. I had people, like, DM me on Instagram, private message me on Facebook, oh. the text and call. I mean, I literally got so much love. Yeah, we were really excited that first day. I feel like it was, like, way more than we expected, I think. Mm -hmm. I think we're like, eh, it might be 10 people that <laughs> Yeah. Know? It was very surprising to see. It's, like, at 200 that. views. You know, which when you look at some people that have like millions and thousands, of, mm -hmm. you know, but like it ain't even about that for us. It's just, no. it's cool to see, but it's no. just fun. And I um, think just the fact that we did it, I mean, we overcame some fears. Mm -hmm. I mean, even to, it just seems like it's just a camera and you're just sitting here, but I mean, yeah. you have to come up with stuff and mm -hmm. um, it's definitely fun to do. It is. I look forward to our video. It wasn't even that um that bad though when I watched it back. I was like, you know what? It really wasn't, you know? Mm -hmm. But let's just be real for a second. Um, I think this is actually a good topic too. Like just like being growing up, being so like insecure in every aspect of my life. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like I'm getting to a point finally. I'm I'm gonna be thirty two this year. Or am I gonna be thirty one? I think I'm going to be 32, yeah. I'll be losing count. And I think after I turn about 39, it'll be 30, somewhere in the 30s until I turn yeah. 15. Yeah, I'm in my early 30s. Let's just say that. I think I'm going to be 32. But, I, you know, I, I've struggled with so many insecurities in my life and depression and anxiety. And those are, mm -hmm. like, real topics. Yeah. And I just feel like... And you have so many people affected by it. I mean, men, women and men. Yeah, but I feel like I'm finally getting to a point where I am getting confident. So just watching the video from last time, mm. I'm like, you know what? I feel like even a year ago, I would have been like critiquing every single thing about me. But I'm so like, you can tell them where you grown. just screw it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I got people in my life who love me. Absolutely. That's all I'm that just doing, you know. <clears throat> Again, like I said in the first video, um, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say nothing at all. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like the golden rule? I mean, treat we others so, as you want to be treated. So if you don't want nobody to hail you, don't hail us. Mm -hmm. Not that we care. Don't get me twisted. Yeah. We don't care. But, yeah. I mean, not that there's never going to be any hate. Yeah, I mean, that's but that's human nature. I, <laughs> there's just That's just human nature. Yeah, I got friends, family, a husband, a baby. Like, yeah. I got so much going on. We're living our best life over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's no reason for us to even worry about, you know. But this is just a hobby we're doing you know just something yeah. to do see how it turns out you know why not why not i'm like super i scared. thought about um playing like never have i ever i still okay so this is a tuesday again we've worked <laughs> oh all God. day worked all day we, every time we've done well it's my second video but i feel like we just look tired you know we've been <laughs> up since you know i've been up since 5 30 this morning i was up at it's just been a lot 30 yeah and so I feel like if we do these videos on the weekend, we're thinking maybe like Sunday. We're gonna be so much prettier. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I am exhausted. I literally did not leave the job until, like, 10 till 6. Mm -hmm. My time off is 4.30. Mm -hmm. So, do the math. I was not a 4. <laughs> like, I am every day. On a dot. <laughs> I mean, I've always been like that, but I'm the type where I don't take breaks usually. I pretty much stay at my desk. Yeah. Well, I mean, now it's a little bit different. I pump at work. Um, so, actually, that's the thing that we were talking about earlier. When you have to pump at work, mm -hmm. it's a lot. You know, I'm coming back from maternity leave. I've been there back a little over a month. And I pump, like, three to four times a day at work. Like, that's a lot. It is a lot. It's hard to keep up with. And then, then I, I have to take an hour lunch. It's a lot. It's a lot to keep up. And I'm just I'm tired and just... Yeah, the work weeks are long and exhausting. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm exhausted now. And then I have my friends doing the thing later. And I'm just like, I just want to get in my bed. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. okay, so I don't know if this is a past 25-year-old thing or past 30. But do you ever, like, just get excited? To go to bed. Oh, my God. And I just got a new bed. And I love it. Mm -hmm. But seriously, I will be thinking about my ride. I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to get into bed. <laughs> I know. Like, that is what it is to be 30. I promise. Like, it's it's like, oh, my God, I'm doing nothing this weekend. Yeah. PJs, like, lounging, and the TV. Like, it must be a, a over a certain age. Because I wasn't like that before. Like, mm -hmm. I would be like, let's go, let's go. Now... I definitely go through phases. Oh I, my god! We're give me my CV. We're a homebody <laughs> for the most part, but yeah, sometimes it's just too much. Where I'm like, Let's just go do something. Yeah, you know. No, it can be, and you know, sometimes you have to get out the house. Like, I'm glad I'm having dinner this weekend or whatever. Like last weekend, I really just, I just hung at the crib. I didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I didn't go anywhere this weekend. Last, and I mean, sometimes you need that time. Sometimes you need time where you're just. You are out and about and stuff. Like, it's about to be warm, so I'd be trying to live my best life out in the streets and stuff. Yeah. But when it's cold, cooler, it's cold, I be wanting to go home. Like, I don't be wanting to go nowhere. My friends talk about me all the time. They're like, you never want to go anywhere? Like, it's not that. It's just my bones can't take the cold mm -hmm. air. I cannot believe it's going to be spring. I know. I'm excited. Like, in a week. I'm really excited about that. Mm. Like, the sun just makes everything better. Mm -hmm. You know? It just really does make everything we better. We spent a lot of time outside this weekend. I and know, it was, it was so nice. nice. It oh was God. beautiful. I was sitting on my front porch, like, just oh, in basket in the sun. So nice. It really was. And I can actually drink this summer. Oh, that's so excited. <laughs> I'm not a huge drinker, but sometimes, you know, you just want a cocktail. Yeah. And... Right. Mm. I get that. Yes, we are sober. <laughs> Again. <laughs> mm. I have I to try like to really be for hungry. the most part. Yeah, you have, like, I the pump baby in. and pumping, yeah. But I have a couple times. Um, don't take much. I'm a lightweight. Yeah. You know, it's funny. We were talking about this the other day. She literally, we went, went to, what, where did we go for the work thing? And then when you were like, we were all kind of toasty. Oh, you mean and like that? you when found I, out when you were, okay. yeah, like the three days later or something, you found out you were pregnant. So, we, I was in a work meeting and I was like literally like falling asleep at this meeting. And my boss was like, are you good? And I'm like, I'm oh, just so tired. <laughs> like, I didn't think anything of it. Right. Well, then, like, it might have been the next day. I think um, it was. That, we it all was went like... out on a, for, like, a company outing. Well, not a company out, like a team outing. Mm -hmm. And I was taking shots of tequila. I was having the best time. But I started to feel sick that day. Remember? Mm -hmm. But I was like, this tequila will make me feel better. <laughs> yeah, true. Girl, I felt like crap that night. And then I think it was, like, that was like a Friday. I think it was that Sunday I found out I was pregnant. Yep. Something like that. So I think the next day was work, and you were like, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Come in the room. And we like, just like, but shh, I haven't told anybody. And we're like screaming. They screamed. The whole department looked <laughs> the over The department looked. I was like, oh, sorry. Oh, my God. As soon as we walked out, everybody was looking. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, we heard like, well, everyone knows I'm pregnant. <laughs> but no, I just. so excited. It's still one of those ex uh times in your life where you know for so long you my husband and I tried for a couple years mm -hmm. and you always like think about the day that you find out you're pregnant and when mm -hmm. you get to tell your friends and family yep. and even co-workers like it's so exciting and the fact that like 
that's done and over with, my pregnancy's done and over with, my maternity leave is done and over with, and mm -hmm. I'm back to work, and I my son's gonna be five, five months, months. Yeah. and a couple weeks, it's like, crazy. I just can't believe it. It's um, literally crazy, literally crazy. I feel like it happened really fast. Yeah, and like, just time goes fast. You hear that your it whole does. life, and then it really does. Yeah. Yeah. I look back at um, a memory on Facebook that I had of my son, and it was me and one of my homegirls for Lima. Oh, am I supposed to talk? No, it's we're good. Lima, California. Right. Um, name my Peru. <laughs> anyway. But, but who cares? They don't, I mean, what, what, yeah, it's what, true. You know, whatever. So, my, it came up on my timeline, and I'm like, my son had to have been like three or four. And I was just like, he's so cute. Now, mind you, he's taller than me now. He's tall, lanky, 13, going through hormonal changes. But it flies. It's like that. And the next thing you know, he's about to, it's literally about to be high schooler. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, I'm going to have a whole high schooler. Yeah. Like, a whole high schooler. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Yeah. But, yeah, it does It does fly. Time just goes so fast. So, just, and, and honestly, just, like, be nice. To people. to people because yeah. you just never know nope you really never know i think and that i live by i try my best to live by that yeah like, i'm nice to every, i try my best to be nice to everybody yeah speak to everybody because i think when you're i think it takes more energy and more muscles to be mad and angry than it is to be happy to mm -hmm. you know what i mean like yeah. i really do try to be happy even when somebody pisses me off mm -hmm. like at work and stuff like today i'm so a little irritated but yeah. i still but like, you know, show people respect and I mean, because I know some people don't know how to talk to people. Some people don't know how to just like, even if they're wrong or they did something the wrong way. It's like you still have to learn how to talk to people with respect and be nice to them because you never know that same person you might need later. They Maybe your car is like dead in the parking lot and they're like the last person there and you're always nasty to them. They are not going to want to <laughs> help you like start your car. Or, you know what I mean? Like you always think about what can... What you reap is what you sow. Yeah. I really feel like that. I mean, I, I guess some other people call it like karma. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So. Yeah. Well. Well. I mean, I, I, I think I we're about like done here. Yeah, we're about done. I mean, I gotta <laughs> go to bed. I know. Like I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah, we need son. to do these on like the weekend when we have more time mm. and not to rush. But please down below. Uh, let yeah, us comments. give us some ideas um, on what we can yeah, do what, what next video have. and maybe some food suggestions. We, mm -hmm. we have a lot of stuff around here, but um, any food suggestions, yeah. challenges maybe. Yeah, and challenges. And then be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And yeah, we will yeah, do this again shortly. Absolutely. So, all right. We're out. Bye, guys. Bye.